Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 36 of our Power Behind the Throne Mark II playthrough. We're currently a striker of the Holy of the Norwegian Revolt, and we are in revolt against our normal liege lord, King Goodmunder of Norega, and we're trying to get uh, Norega to be put under the rulership of Filke Haralde II here, as you do. So, first things first, we've got this army here, that's great, let's just toggle these guys off being raiders, and then raise up the rest of the army. This is probably going to be very expensive, but we've got a lot of money because they just came back from a raid. Boom. Okay. Now, let's look at what we need. So, we kind of you know, I mean, the dude himself has one county, Kent. That's fine. It's not too bad a deal. We've also got additional commander slots. We've only got additional commander slots because, um... Because we're now a kingdom level title. That's fine, though. Let's just put in some really good guys. And sub out some shitty ones. Why doesn't he like me? Yeah, because he's an asshole. That's fine, he's actually pretty good at commanding. And do we have anybody better here? We do. Yep, that'll do. Alright, so, armies are set. So, the province of Kent. Iceland. Nordland there. Vesterbotten there. And Norega there. Or metal pad, I think that is. Yep. That's all we need to deal with. So, these guys, gather up. I'm also going to send these guys up towards them to help out. And these guys, let's see. This force I'm going to get to gather there. These guys can come down here. Everybody in motion? Yep, everybody is in motion. Go for it. So all we're doing here is gathering up troops. See, he's raised up his vassals. They're not giving him much more than they've already got. So, all we need to do is get enough guys to actually besiege these places, which honestly should be pretty easy. This one's the biggest one here with about 900 troops. So we should actually have two besieging forces, maybe even three. Okay, it's got our new heir as being Perolther of Akashus. Is that what I'm voting for? No, I'm voting for uh, my actual son. Oh, not this. this guy's pretty good. But he's not, like, my son or anything. Whatever. Alright, gather that army all up, and let's get myself out of it. I shouldn't even be there. This army is gathered. So this army I'm sending straight around. Uh, let's give him a couple of low-level commanders. So they're going there. This army here, I'm going to send it straight up that way. And they can have... They can have this dude. And this army here is actually going to move in like that. And they'll have another guy. And that'll leave us with three dudes. This army here are free best dudes though our middle here is not looking great so let's see what we can do there yeah these guys are actually going to come back down here and I'll let them rule the uh, middle and we'll see if we can go to Kent so They'll be fine. These guys gather up. Um, you don't need a leader. But I will send them up to this one. Because these guys, once they're dealt there, can just cross over into there. I'm going to need roughly 64 boats. Okay. 
see how that goes. Now, could come up here to Iceland and take it, but because they're not directly held by them, I think the best option is to come down here. But there is something of a smallpox epidemic down there, so maybe we just go to Iceland. Alright, there's our first battle. Nice and easy. No drama. It wasn't even against... Yeah. Didn't even matter. Wasn't technically against the uh, guys that we're betraying. Okay, that's good. And they've auto-distributed themselves quite nicely. Now you might be wondering why we've still got this number in reserve. That's because we already had that. When we raised our raiders up initially, um, what it had done was it was reinforcing as we were losing them and as they were just raised. But um, you can't have more raised than your actual total. That wouldn't make any sense. Alright, so good news is we've got just enough dudes on the ship. Perfect. But that smallpox outbreak is going away. Excellent. So we'll come over here and land in Sussex. And make the attack from there. Get on the boats. Come on down. And we don't even need to attack these places. We're just doing it for war score and to keep him from having, you know, any safe havens. Right, hop on over here. There we are. We are taking attrition. That's okay, let's head on in. It's not much attrition at the moment. And more to the point, we landed here in order for our um <coughs> That's not even one of his armies, that's an Essex army, so we will defeat it. Nice and quick. Yep, good on us. And now we'll uh, take back these really easy places. Get rid of some of these. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, of note, this battle here isn't ours, it's to clear Essex from this place. That's fine. Well, it looks like we've got some more dudes here. Uh, I don't want to leave them. Let fast leave them. Um, I'm actually going to go and grab those blokes and take them up to uh, Iceland. I think, yeah. This guy, the Khan of Bolgar, proposes that this kid and my daughter become married. She's 26, she's already got two kids. He's 12, so she'll be 30 by the time that ends. Yeah, that's absolutely fine, buddy. Okay, now see we still at, we're still at zero percent, but what we've done there is clear the um, thingy, and now we're clearing Dover, and then we'll clear Rochester. Speaking of clearing, that's that one dealt with, and basically what that'll do is let us come back in and take it all nice and easy. Well, now the actual fight's going though. Yeah, she's still winning that fight. Glod is a lying little bitch. Um, that's fine. Okay. These dudes get on the boat. Then the boat can head up to Iceland. Okay. Where's our 5% coming from? Because we occupy Metal Pad. Lovely. About to occupy this place. 
just had a battle over here, the Battle of Sandwich. That was... Oh, that was part of our war. Is this Sandwich in here? Which one of these is Sandwich? Yeah, so we did have a battle. He raised up some troops and attacked us, and we defeated them all, so now we're at 80%. Are you willing to cede? You are not. Well, let's continue waiting then. So we're about to take this one up here. Done. It's given us an extra 4%. You guys can come down here now. Got another battle. Ah, I see what he's doing. Let me just confirm that. Prestige. Yep. So he's raising up the tribal armies. Like, you know, paying the 500 prestige to get tribals. But, I mean, it would give us victory, but if you look at it here, war score from battles is limited to 75% for attackers. He can't do it again. He is out of prestige. And money! And they spawn at, like, max morale, which is why it's an actual battle and not just a straight-up route. Hmm. I want that job and I want it bad. There's no way Stryker will give it to me just because I want to become a counselor. I need to work hard to get it. I am Stryker. Am I plotting against my own damn... Yeah, I'm plotting against my own damn chancellor. That's weird. I mean, I'll be friendly with her. Okay, this navy should be here. Yep, wonderful. So we land in the unoccupied county. What's this? <laughs> really? Seven dudes. That's not a siege. Uh, now we're rivals with this one. That's annoying, so I will have to actually replace her. With Svanelda. I'm going to set her up to do diplomacy down there. Can't have somebody with a negative opinion of me being my Chancellor. That would not be uh, good. I'm going to actually put these boats back to dock and get rid of them. Because this will obviously go in our favour. Kind of lose these troops, thank you. And the boats are just costing us money. Okay, it's Dover assistedly liberated, as it were. Now we're actually besieging Kent tribe properly. Okay, these guys can go away. So that's almost halved our military expenditure. That was at 16. We're actually at 100%. Didn't even see that happen. Off a piece. He must take it. Done. Alright, now we're Denmark again. Drop the troops. Now. Why is it saying... Okay, so in some way what it's done there is it's moved our Jarldoms around. So we've, we've a Jarl of Ostlandet and Vestlandet, but it's made Ostlandet our primary. All we have to do is come here to there and go make primary. And that changes things slightly, which is good. We do need a successor. It will, of course, be Heising. And a successor for Denmark, which will be whoever the boss is saying. So for this purpose this dude's Takata. Great. Put down all of these troops. That's fine. These guys can... I'm actually gonna dump these guys into this battle and just see what happens. It's a little risky. Well, we're at 87%. 
Mainly because we've been getting the shit kicked out of us. You know what? It's just a holy war. Disband them. And I'm going to need those boats to come back down here and pick them up. Uh, come down here. Good. Now my hope here is that they don't um, decide to take out this tiny tiny amount of dudes. Actually you guys should start moving up like that. That could be enough to get our dudes a little clear. Yep. Good. Alright. We're back in the proper uh, place. And we didn't even lose any of the retinue. Perfect. All the military's down. All the fleet's down. Wonderful. Hmm, now there is an independence faction. Also, this guy, the former king, they're voting for him to be king of, well, everything. No assassination chance. No assassination chance. What about this dude? No assassination chance. They do hate each other, though. And the independence faction, which is... This guy. No. Hmm. No dramas. Alright, I think we need to buy something for the church. Can't do a church town yet because they don't have the proper levels of church walls. So do that. This place is still building stuff. Alright. Good times. We need to go raiding at some point. Expect a little bit of movement here. Yeah, he's funding it himself. Fool. Let's have a look at some of this shit. You, who the hell are you? We don't have a cast spell against him. I mean, fair enough. What about this place? Yeah, he's summon Esco, so we... Why is it talking about Cassus Belli for him? Sure, we've got a valid Cassus Belli. We're fucking Norse. Hmm. I mean, right? Oh, well, whatever's happening there. Good, those factions are irrelevant. That one, not so much. Who's this little creep? Well, he can go fuck himself. So what do I actually own, and why isn't most of it Auslanded? So Vestfold is part of Auslanded, that's fine. Nidoros is not. Normanthal is not, and Jampland is not. So who else owns Jampland? This guy, but he owns something else as well. He owns this one. Chief of Opland, but I think he's fine. Yep. Yeah. This kid needs a guardian? Holy shit, is that my granddaughter? She is exceptional. Let's give her some diplomatic leadings. Um, we're not going to have my rival tell her what to be like, though. Inga should be fine. Hmm, so what I'd like to do is own these counties as well as these ones. 
That would give me a really strong base to uh, work with. Oslanded is quite a nice place. It's a person from Nidoros. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would put us at our demense limit and we'd have to get rid of everything else. Whereas Nidoros, it would be... Nidoros does have the temples though, two temples there. I've got two temples here as well, but I already own one of them. Mm. Decisions, decisions. Well, you know what helps decision making though? Just a nice little, uh... Viking raid. So I want this army. No, not that army. I want this army. Um, this section of it can fuck off. So I'm going to need new unit. That's exactly what it's going to be because this section is actually the um, What do you call them? The church troops. These guys, yeah. And you know what? That should actually be fine. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So we only need a few boats here. Whoops. Made a little accident there. Get rid of them. Thank you. So I want the boats, not the military. Thank you. Boats and boats. And that should do us for the boats, actually. So these will be quicker uh, tourism trips than previously because we don't have as many boats with us to carry as much shit. But, well, it'll be better. So I, whoop. Crusades have started because the very heartlands of Western Christianity are under siege. Yeah, that's this shit up here. So these have started early. These shouldn't have happened yet. Also, the Pope's possessed. Great! Like, amazing. Um, yeah, because they've taken something up here, I don't know exactly what, um, the Pope's decided that Crusades should start early. Which, I mean, fair enough. Which means that the Knights of St. John have started. And the Teutonic Order has started. A little bit of a problem. And the Knights of Calatreva. And the Knights of Santiago. Basically a whole bunch of Holy Orders have just sprung the fuck up. Which I mean, whatever. Get ourselves over to there. Striker, you're not even there. And we'll take this one. Your Crusade... Oh, Raiders, sorry. Let's go have some fun. Um, I think Brittany's nice this time of year. Yeah, no plague. Always a good thing. Yeah, so there are a couple of triggers to start Crusades, and obviously the one that's just happened is the uh, Europe under attack one. The other ones that can happen is if Constantinople falls, and if somebody owns Jerusalem past a particular date. She's going to be ambitious, that's fine. Good honor. Alright, let's hop off and go, some, go for some raiding. We should also probably attack this fucker at some point. Well, this fucker at some point. We do have reasons to declare war against her, just... We've got army levies raised up for our raiding, so we can't at this stage. But if we take Dorset... That'd give us the entire southern coast of England. Pretty sure this one's still. Oh wow! What happened, Mercia? Mercia lost a lot of his allies. Now he's only allied to the Khan of Bulgaria. Which okay, great. Very interesting. But it's mainly interesting because he had a lot of um, vast like tributaries. 
so that opens up a little bit of yeah I know we lost Wessex of course we lost Wessex uh, we're having marital bliss with my lovely wife who is the syphilitic lunatic also I'm pretty sure my aunt she's not there for children which is good because um, like her fertility is way down she's not there for children she's there for her stats you still making money? yep good uh, she wants to be boss instead of she wants to be steward instead of this one I mean I would but she's insane give her a chance Wow, holy shit, what happened here? Why are you so good at this? Look at all this dude's stuff. My god, Ivar. Definitely amazing. What sort of bonuses is he giving me? He's increased the levy size by almost three quarters. Jeez. It's got like a 50% chance of organizing a raid every year. I think we're fine just raiding as we are, bro, but cheers. So the good news is that Heising is going to be the heir at the moment. He does have a child. It's not a great child, but you know. Just one male child is pretty good. Excellent. Keep them coming. Mainly because it means we won't split anything. Our boss is pretty likely to split stuff around. Just build the damn hill fort, bro. How are you so much in debt? Oh, because he lost, um... Yeah, he lost money because of the holy war. We're just funding him a little bit to get him out of debt. Because at the moment, we're still making money even though we're um, out raiding. So just getting him up there. And he's got a decent income. And we really need him to build this hill fort up. And hopefully not being in debt will actually help out with um, his various things that he needs to deal with. Just don't declare another war, buddy. Who are you supporting as your heir? Because I am not supporting them. I'm born Varash. Sure. She's petitioning me again about the stewardship position. Yeah, sure, whatever, bro. The steward doesn't really have too much to do anyway. Just build legend. Now, these guys finished building their thing. We've got plenty of prestige, so let's go for it. Now, oh, bloody hell. He declared war again. Um, the fifth Danish holy war for Essex on King Something the Tormentor, which is this dude. He's in seclusion. It's probably a pretty good time to do it. Um, again, he's only got the Bulgarian ally, but it's a holy war. And for, es for Essex, you know, it's a decent land grab. But the problem is he's going to pull in, like, a bunch of other shit as well. Oh, good, we're now a Viking. I wonder if we could help out. You know what, we'll complete the raid. Because I'm going to need the money from it. We will complete the raid and then go and deal with it.
11 gold. Yep. I'm going to change my focus real quick. Um, I'm going to change it to to carousing instead of family. Oh, can't do that for another year. I want to do that because I don't need the fertility increase. It's in my best interest not to have more children. Let's see. Awesome, she gained two points of learning. That's exceptional. That pumps her up a lot. Very good. I'm just going to wait for this particular fortress or this city here to fall and start the uh, tourism move before I um, good before I call the end of the episode. Yeah, so he's brought in fucking everybody, including the King of Pictland. It's not a war that can be won now. Alright, head on up to Leon, and that's the end of the episode. Our boats are almost halfway full, so next episode we'll finish that up and then decide if we're going to help out in this goddamn stupid-ass war. In the meantime, though, I have been Sub, you've been yourselves. Later!